In this video, we'll look at creating text and dimensions on the front view of this drawing. Text and dimensions are types of annotation. Annotation can be used to communicate measurements, call out features, and provide information about your design. You control the appearance of annotation using styles. Expand the annotation panel to select or edit styles. This drawing contains two user-defined styles in addition to the default styles. Titles is a custom style for text, while Main is a custom dimension style. After defining which styles to use for text and dimensions, I'm ready to annotate my drawing. In the Layers panel, I click the Layer drop-down and set the text layer current. The mText command creates multi-line text annotation. mText prompts you to specify two points in the drawing to determine the width of the multi-line text object. You can use the Text Editor tab to specify text formatting or accept the default formatting and start typing in the editor. After adding text, I return to the Layers drop-down and set the Dimensions layer current. You can create different types of dimensions, such as linear, radial, or angular. One way to dimension objects is to select the Dimension command and then simply select the objects you want to dimension. This is an efficient way to dimension lines or polyline segments. If I want more control over which points are used to create the dimension, I can click to specify start and end points in the drawing. To dimension this arc, I select the arc and click to place the dimension. Adding text and dimensions to your drawing finalizes your design.